Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video I'm going to show you how to download and install the latest version of Windows 11, which is 24H2. This is not available to the general public yet, so this would be like a beta, or they call it uh, dev or canary release. Uh, so if you want to check this out, maybe you want to uh, install it on a VM or install it on a laptop to test it out, I'm going to walk you through step by step where to get it and how to install it. All right, so head on over to uupdump.net. I'll have a link in the description. And if you're interested in a little more information on UUP Dump, I'm going to link a card right now. So check the top right of your screen there. You should see the card for the video. Uh, check that out if you want a little more information on UUP Dump. I did another video recently on that. Uh, but for today's video, you're just going to go to uupdump.net. And then click on the Windows 11 here in the middle of the screen and go to 24H2 Dev. And just a note here, guys, if you try to get the link for the latest X64, which is uh, 26,100, you're going to see that there are no uh, download files there. So just go to the one right before that that came out on April 3rd. Uh, that's as of today, guys. So today being the uh, 13th of April. Alright, so click on the release from the third. Make sure you get the X64, unless you're dealing with an ARM-based processor, but most of us will be using X64. So let's click on this link. Click on Next. Uh, if you want other versions, uh, you'll have another opportunity to do it as well, but if you want like Pro In, Home In, or maybe you just want Pro, you can uncheck uh, Home. Whatever your options are, I mean, whatever your needs are, go ahead and check those options. For me, that's fine. I'll have the option to install Home and Pro later. Alright, and then here, probably just going to want to leave that as convert to ISO, uh, which is the default option. But if you wanted some other options here, guys, you could click this, and then that will give you all these options to include all these different operating systems, or versions of the operating system, I should say. So up to you, if you want to do any of that other stuff. Uh, I'm going to download, I'm going to integrate .NET 3.5, run Windows Component Cleanup, sure, why not? All right, or create download package. That'll download a zip file. Let's go ahead and extract that. I've started this process a couple times here, guys, so uh, extract all. Extract it to wherever you want. Once that's done, you're, gonna, you're going to want to run the uh, command file here. So go ahead and run that as admin. You will have to... Uh, click on more info and then click run anyway obviously do this at your own risk guys this is not a Microsoft published program uh, however all the documentation that I could find online and reddit threads and stuff like that said that this uh, UUP dump utility gets all the source files and packages from the actual Windows update servers so again do your own research do your own, do your own due diligence but if you are following along you'll need to click more info and then run anyway That'll give you a UAC prompt. You'll need to accept that. All right, so I'm going to type R to run once and hit enter. This will take some time, guys. It's going to go out and download everything, uh, package it up for us, uses DISM to mount uh, image file, adds all the packages, cleans everything up, and then at the end of the day, I'm obviously oversimplifying this, but at the end of the day, you'll have a nice ISO ready to install. So I'll fast forward this video a bit, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, looks like that is done. So we're going to hit Q to quit or exit. And right in that same folder, we'll have our ISO file. So let's go ahead and get that installed. I'll use a virtual machine just for testing here today. You can do this on a VM or you can do this on a um, piece of hardware, laptop, PC, whatever you've got, whatever you prefer. All right, so I'm going to create a new VM. And I'm going to point it to this file. It's our latest ISO file. There we go. Next, it is Windows 11, X64. Uh, this is 24H2. Uh, this is the second one I've done. 
Let's park this guy. Virtual machines. say 24H22. You name yours whatever you like. Since this is Windows 11, we have to create a uh, TPM password. Uh, can I get away with the smaller hard drive? Let's see. Give it eight gigs, uh, four procs. All right, let's power that on and we'll see what the install looks like. I believe the uh, installation wizard uh, got revamped a little bit, so it should look a little bit different. All right, select the language and select a uh, time and currency format. I'm going to leave mine US. Same thing for keyboard. Wow, this looks a little different. I agree, everything will be deleted. Install Windows 11. I don't have a product key, which is fine right now. We're just testing. Uh, select your operating system. I'm going to do Windows 11 Pro. If you would have selected all those other options, you'd have all those here, obviously. Next, agree to the EULA that everyone reads. <laughs> this looks a little different here. So they've given you given you some additional options. Format partition, delete partition, create partition, extend partition, bring disk online, load driver, and refresh. Pretty cool. I did see a warning there, so Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows cannot be installed on this drive. I wonder if that's because, I wonder if I got that warning because it's uh, under 64, but that's fine. I think it's going to go through and we'll find out. All right, so just another prompt here, ready to install, keep nothing, install Windows 11 Pro. All right, guys, it's time to walk through the rest of this install wizard. So we'll just select the United States, US. I don't need a secondary keyboard layout. Click Next, Skip, and that'll check for updates. All right, let's give it a name. I'm going to select uh, Worker School, so I don't have to necessarily use a Microsoft account. I'll click on sign in options. If you want to use a Microsoft account, that's fine. I'm going to say domain join instead. Uh, we will create a user account. Okay, I can't use the same as the computer name. Fair enough. I'll turn all these off. I don't need to send anything to Microsoft, and I don't need them spying on me. They still will, right? But hey, we try. All right, guys, that has installed. We are logged in. Uh, I'm going to get VMware tools installed on this guy so I can go full screen. Just give me one sec for that. All right, let's put this in full screen. There we go. That's better. All right, so one thing I see right off the bat, learn more about this image, it gives you a little information on the wallpaper that's up there. 
Uh, this is a 4K monitor, so I am going to turn on some scaling here because I'm an old man and I'm blind. Display settings. Scale this to 150. Much better. All right, guys. So let's take a look. Let's take a look around. So I see there is a new feature here. Uh, I'm just making sure some of this stuff came across with the UUP dump. Uh, Energy Saver, this is supposed to be new for uh, 24H2. Okay, so here we are guys. We are on version 24H2, Windows 11 Pro. Build is 26100.1.0. So we got that installed with an ISO. Um, I did want to check another feature. Supposedly, uh, there is a new feature with Copilot. So let's see. Okay, so if we copy this. No, that's not working. So I can run um, updates on this just to see if it, there's anything else out there. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Actually, before we do that, let's get into the uh, developer mode. I'll turn that on. Yes. Okay, so Windows Insider Program, we can turn this on. You will have to link a Microsoft account. Okay, here's your option to join Canary or Dev Channel. Canary is the uh, earliest releases, least stable, but you'll get all the latest stuff right away. So let's go to Canary. Probably wouldn't recommend this necessarily if this is your daily driver computer. But, um, yeah, if you have like a a test PC or a dev PC where you like to check out all the newest features, then why not go Canary? All right, so I'm going to restart and then it'll check for updates. Yeah, guys, so it looks like the only thing that it's really finding is the uh, Defender antivirus definitions or updates. So I, I'm guessing this is due to downloading the ISO from uh, UUP or UUP dump. Uh, it looks like not all the features are working. So it says I'm up to date. I'll restart again and test after this, but I know for sure there's supposed to be a feature with Copilot. Like if we take a, if we copy a picture or any text to the clipboard. So I copy that and then we hover over Copilot. I'm supposed to get options here and I'm not getting any options uh, or suggestions. Yeah, so it's not fully functional. However, this is an option to get the latest uh, dev build onto your PC or onto a virtual machine, uh, installing directly from an ISO. Um, hopefully you watch this till the end so you see that there are some issues, at least in my case where I don't have all of the functions that are supposed to be in the uh, latest 24H2 release. Uh, we did see the new power option there, the energy saver. However, I'm not going to keep testing because I've already noticed one feature that's not there. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll probably end this video here and then I'm going to install the latest general release of 23H2 and then I'll update through the uh, channels within the operating system being the insider program. And once I get that all up to date, uh, I might do a video on how to do that as well, guys. But once I get that all up to date, I'm going to test again and see if the features are there. And then we can do a comparison of using the UUP dump method versus using the insider program directly from the OS method. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you guys out. Let me know if you've installed from 
uh, if you've installed the latest version from UUP Dump and whether or not you saw any missing features. All right, guys, consider giving this a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. Please leave me a comment. Let you let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried 24H2. Uh, do you like it? Do you hate it? Somewhere in between. Let me know. All right, guys, have a great day and take care. Thank you.